Hi friends, I'm going to read to you The Construction Alphabet Book by Jerry Pallotta and Bob, Rob Bolster. A is for aerial lift. Aerial lifts give construction workers a boost when they need to reach a high place. They make it safe to paint a building or fix a loose wire. Aerial lifts sound like this. Nun, 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 eek. B is for backhoe. A backhoe is a piece of construction equipment that has a bucket in the front and a hoe in the back. A backhoe is good for digging trenches or loading other trucks. C is for a cement mixer. You can also call it a concrete truck. This truck is filled with sand, stone, water, and cement. The round drum rotates and mixes the ingredients into concrete. When it's poured, the concrete hardens like rock. D is for dump truck. Dump trucks carry sand, dirt, rocks, tree stumps, trash, or almost anything. The driver hits a lever, the body of the truck lifts up, and everything slides out. E, e, boom. E is for excavator. An excavator usually moves on its own steel track. Run, 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 e, scrape. The boom and bucket can swing around a full 360 degrees. Run, 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 e, scrape. F is for front end loader. The driver and the bucket face the same way, front. This machine is used for loading dirt into a dump truck. Don't ever ride in the bucket, it's way too dangerous. G is for grader. Graders are mostly used to build roads or to level fields. There's a blade under the body that is set at a certain angle and height. This moves the dirt. Graders can also be used as snow plows. H is for horizontal borer. It can drill sideways. Sometimes it's necessary to lay pipe or cable under a busy highway. A horizontal borer can do that without disrupting traffic. I is for impact hammer. An impact hammer can smash concrete and rocks. It can be attached to an excavator or a backhoe. It sounds like this. Boom, 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 boom. J is for jackhammer. The handheld jackhammer is small, but the compressor that compresses the air and powers the hammer is huge. If you live near a construction project, this is the loudest thing in the neighborhood. Where are your earplugs? Dat, 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 dat. K is for knuckle boom loader. A knuckle boom loader carries construction supplies to places that are hard to reach. It has a special joint that keeps the load level when passing through a window or a doorway. L is for laser. Laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Lasers project light in a straight line. They guarantee that tunnels, roads, buildings, and bridges are built perfectly straight. It is hard to imagine how the ancient Egyptians built their fabulous pyramids without lasers to guide them. M is for mobile rock crusher. Mobile means that something can move from one place to another. Crunch, do you need some rocks smashed up? The mobile rock crusher will come to you. Crunch, 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 crunch. N is for night lights. Sometimes construction companies have to work around the clock. When work needs to be done after sunset, they turn on the night lights. Do you have a night light in your bedroom to see when it's dark? O is for off-road dump truck. This truck is so huge that it is not allowed on regular highways. It's usually used in mining. A lot of coal and iron ore can fit in its gigantic bucket. Watch out, the truck is backing up. Beep, 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 beep. P is for paver. An asphalt, back, an asphalt blacktop road is made of tar and gravel. Tamping asphalt by hand with shovels is too difficult. The paver was invented to lay perfectly smooth asphalt. Shh, 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 shh. Q is for quad axle low bed. Quad means four. 
An axle is the bar between two wheels. A low bed is a trailer that carries heavy equipment. Some low beds only have two axles while others have three. A quad axle has four. R is for road cutter. Wow, a giant circular saw. A road cutter is so huge and so strong that it can cut through asphalt and concrete. Do not use a road cutter to cut your toenails. Oh boy, that would be tough. S is for scraper. A scraper is used to level a football field, a road, or farmland. It's different from a grader because it carries a belly full of dirt to fill in low spots. T is for tower crane. If you look at the skyline of a major city, you'll probably see a tower crane. These huge cranes are assembled on the job to stay in one place. Tower crane operators climb up, up, up to work every morning. Wow, can you imagine? Climbing all the way up there. U is for utility truck. Telephone service, electricity, water and sewer, and gas are called utilities. Wires down, lights out, water main break, gas line leak. Call the utility company. Workers will show up in the utility truck. V is for Vactor. Vactors are super powerful vacuum cleaners. They suck up rocks, boulders, mud, boards, and other debris. Vactors are ideal for cleaning up after a flood or a hurricane. Crush, 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 crush. Shh. W is for wrecking ball. Sometimes old buildings and other structures have to be demolished or torn down. A wrecking ball is a huge, heavy steel ball that swings from one end of a crane. Smash, crash, boom. Crash, smash, kaboom. X is for X bracing. During repair, some buildings are surrounded with scaffolding. Scaffolding provides temporary support for workers and supplies. This scaffolding is shaped like an X. The restoration of the Statue of Liberty was one of the largest scaffolding jobs ever done. Y is for yard crane. It gets its name because you can park it in the construction company's yard. Workers drive it to and from the job site. It commutes to work, but it's too big to go get coffee and a donut at the drive-thru. I'll say. Z is for zipper. This front end loader is carrying a zipper. A zipper is used to slice asphalt. Zing, zing, zing. I know some of our friends love construction trucks and all things construction. So that was a fun story to read to you today. And you got to practice letters with it. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.